Hey, buddy, what are you doing over there? Oh, me? I'm just looking for some crabs. And here comes one right now. Money! <coughs> crabs, the spiders of the ocean. Do you ever just go to the beach and flip rocks over hoping to find some crabs? Cause I used to. The crabs you find there are just, you know, the typical crabs. The little itsy bitsy ones. But let me tell you about some weird crabs. The shame-faced crab. This is a crab with big meaty claws that covers its face, making it look like it was born into an everlasting state of shame. Although, it does make use of those claws by digging into the sand and hiding during the day, while also using it to break open clams and mussels during the night. You poor thing. Ow. Well, anyways, the sand bubbler crab. This is a one centimeter crab that lives in the Indo-Pacific that leaves behind a huge mess. Come on! It typically stays in its burrow, but when the tide gets low, it goes ham. It gathers chunks of sand and feeds on the thin layer of organic matter consisting of plankton and detritus left behind from the tide. It then disposes of the leftover sand mixed with water inside of its gills, creating pellets. It goes through lots of sand each day, creating patterns like this. Wow. Amazing. You know, it actually looks like that one cereal. The Fiddler Crab. This next crab has approximately 100 species, but they all have one thing in common. The males have one humongoloid claw. Its big claw is used to attract females and for threatening or even fighting other male rivals. Can you imagine if a human just had one giant singular hand just waving it around like that? Whoa, we actually won! High five! When the fiddler crab loses its big claw, the smaller one actually grows into the big one and the newly grown claw becomes the small one. The boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab. Unlike the other species of crabs, it has a bit of a different pair of claws. This species can choose to have either coral or sponges, but the best equipment is actually a pair of sea anemones because they're full of toxins and basically act like tasers. This is a win-win situation for both as the crabs gain defense and the anemones get to travel around the ocean eating food particles. So if a fish tries to go near this crab, Yeah, beat him up! Alright, so I think those were all the crabs for the video. So anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Huh, would you look at that? There's a knife in my chest. <laughs> yep, here it is. It's a real thing. So it lives on the coast of Yellowknife, and you know what? Th this crab doesn't even eat. It just stabs stuff. Seaweed, stabs it. Plankton, stabs it. Another knife? Well, that video took way too long to make. Who knows when the next video will come out? Maybe one week? One month? A year? Who knows? Anyways, stay safe out there and wash your hands.